Hey, this is Kevin with MixCoach.com, and today I want to show you how to replace a snare drum. Now, you may be wondering why I would want to replace a snare drum, because if you'll listen, a good sounding snare drum, and it's already got some EQ on it and things like that. I'll show you how I did that stuff in a later video, but what I want to point out to you is the all the, the hi hat in the snare drum. Listen. And there's some ghost of uh, bass drum back there. Now, that may not be a big deal for some people. Some people it is. I'm going to show you how I can fix that. Uh, I want to separate these snare hits from the in-between, which will have the uh, hi-hats and the kick in it. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is make a duplicate by pressing Shift-Option-D. That'll make a duplicate. I hit OK, and it will make a copy of this track. And what I want to do is call this, uh, I usually call this snare. And then what I want to do is call this one between, okay? That way you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, so just for demonstration purposes, I want to just grab this much of it. What I want to do is separate it by uh, Command E, and then I want to pull this down, okay? Now, I want to click this track here, and then what I want to do is hit Command U, and that will pull up the Strip Silence menu. So I'm going to pull all of these back to the lowest possible setting and then I want to push this one the strip threshold to the farthest right okay and as you can see nothing is triggering now so what I want to do instead of it going to the default and had adding a pad to the end of it and uh, duration and all that stuff what I want to do is make sure that the sensitivity is set so where it picks up notes like this one see with it set like that it's not uh, picking up that little note there so what I want to do is keep backing it down until it triggers the note now every well there's two more good example here okay I'm gonna pull this back even more and now I should have everything that I need the step two I want to look a little closer at one of these waves here and I want to the start pad to be as low almost as low as it'll go it goes from 0 to 19 seconds here or 19 milliseconds that's plenty because uh, we're gonna cut this one in the same place now the region in pad I'm going to um, zoom in on this waveform probably not the best example to look at let's look at this this one right here we want it to cut off before this hi-hat hits here okay so now let's go and take a look at it okay so we got it selected there's the the region start pad now I want to set the end pad to end right there or as close as I can that looks good there now what I want to do is extract it okay notice that the snare disappeared okay now leave these settings in and select the bottom track and now I want to strip it now what we've effectively done is separated this noise from the snare track I want you to hear just the snare track listen Okay, I know there's hi-hat in there, but this will give you options. This gives you options to trigger a little bit more accurately. And uh, when you add it to this track, what you can do is you can process these differently now. You can process this maybe with just a little less highs on it. You can process this with a little bit more highs on it. And when you add them together, it should sound almost exactly the way it did before you stripped it out, except you'll have more control over it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what we've done is taken out the noise from in between the snares. If you'd like dozens more mixing resources and categorized tutorials, you can find them at mixcoach.com. Thanks for watching.